So job role number six is a forensic toxicologist. So it's quite interesting that um, the ancient Greeks were the first people to kind of do this role, but not actually in a job sense. So by that, I mean, they were the first people to kind of uncover a murder by substances in the body. Um, so like, it could be like poison, drugs, alcohol, probably more kind of poison back then. Um, but in this kind of day and age, forensic toxicologists would assess a human body um, to see what was in their system. So they can do this kind of, you know, through the bloodstream, um, through analysing, you know, their vital organs. And they would see what substances are in the body. And they can also determine whether something was on purpose or an accident. So, you know, if it was an overdose or whether somebody was forced to take something. And they can see that from the amount of substances in the body. So it's a really interesting job. Um, if you wanted to become a forensic toxicologist, you would need to definitely be doing your sciences in school and then, you know, be taking them as an A-level and then potentially doing chemistry or biology at university as well. Um, there was a news article um, on the radio a couple of months back now, back in start of March, and there was a UK shortage on forensic toxicologists, as well as another role, which we'll explain later on, and I'll show you that one. So if you are interested in this kind of field, then it might be something that you could definitely look for, because, you know, only a couple of months back did they say they had a shortage in this role. So definitely something that is possible. Um, and the average wage would be about 65,000. So join me next week for another two roles.